you're sure Yeshua, you believe in the Bible, right? Oh, yes, sir. Right. Where you get, where you get Yeshua from? Yeshua, that's Christ. Right. Yeah. But you ever heard the ancient Hebrew language? No, what's that? Because when you look at that word Yeshua, I don't think the Hebrew, the Hebrew letter, the U, it ain't no U in the Hebrew letter. So how you get Yeshua? So how's it, how are we supposed to say it? It's the hour. The hour. The hour. The hour. Yahweh is God and Yahweh Shai is Christ. Okay. You look it up in the ancient Hebrew, ancient Hebrew language. Right? Because when you look at the all capital letters and Lord, and you yes. look it up in Hebrew, it's Yahweh. And his son is Yahweh Shai. Right. You know you're an Israelite, right? I mean, you know, we are all children of God. No, no, no. Oh, Where is that in the Bible that say everybody? I mean, we're right. not all children of God, but you know, once you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you get uh, reconciled. You sure about that? But I don't see that nowhere in the Bible. You got the scripture that's going to show me that? I mean, that's what we've been told, you know. Yeah, that's what we've growing been told. Up, growing up. Yeah, we've been church. told that growing up in church, but church lied to us. Why so, just go to the scripture? Um, Hit that Roman, go to Romans real quick. Roman now, I'm gonna tell you. Start at verse one. Because everybody can't be a child of God. Right, that's true. Right? Even if they repent, some people just can't repent. God don't even accept their repentance at all. Here he is. Watch this. This is in the book of Romans, chapter nine, from the top. Huh. I say the truth in Christ. So this is the apostle Paul. He's about to tell the truth, right? He ain't gonna lie. Go ahead. I lie not. Said, I'm not about to tell no lie. Go ahead. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost uh -huh. that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Uh -huh. So we got heavy heart, right? Go ahead. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ. He, said he wish he could be a cursed from Christ. He wish he could have killed Christ punished. Right? Go ahead. For my brethren. For who? For my, my brethren. brethren. So who did Christ die for? His brethren? Go ahead. My kinsmen. So that's talking about family. Right, go ahead. According to, to the, the flesh. flesh. According to what? According, according to, to the, the flesh. flesh. So you can only be a child of God according to the flesh. Who are what? Who are Israelites. Who are what? Who, Who are, are Israelites. Israelites. So you have to be an Israelite. Right, go ahead. To whom pertaineth. So the Israelites, they pertain something. That means belong to them. What belongs to them? Go ahead. The adoption. Uh -huh. And the glory, uh -huh. and the covenants, uh -huh. and the giving of the law, uh -huh. and the service of God, uh -huh. and the promises. And the promises. Go ahead. Whose are the fathers? Who are the fathers that what? And of whom, as concerning the flesh? Who concerning the flesh? Not the spirit, or not to whom ever sent Christ. Go ahead. Christ came. Christ came for the Israelites. They do have to repent, though. You do have to repent and keep God's law. But you have to be a blood descendant from the lineage of Israel. Right? A so-called white man can come up here today and say, I want to repent and make it to the king. He ain't gonna make it no matter what he does. He don't even matter. So I got, I got a else. question for you. In the same Romans, right, it talks about there's neither Jew or Gentile. Right. I mean, you know who is the Gentile that the it's Gentiles. talking about? Who are the Gentiles in that case? All right, I'm going to show it to you. But let me finish this, and I'm going to show you who those Gentiles in that scripture. So a lot of people say the Gentiles are the other nations. In that when he said no Jew or Gentile or no Jew, no Greek, he's talking about the Israelites because they were in the Greek captivity, and they were in the Greek or Gentile state of mind. So when he's talking about no Jew or Greek, because we, when you look up that word Greek, it's going to tell you that they are Hebrew-speaking Greek. They are Jews. Okay. That's just like black men in America, they call themselves African American, but really they um nationality is an Israelite or a Jew. But they don't know. So-called black and Hispanic people, they don't know who they are. They don't know their nationality. I, I, a lot of black people will come up here and say they Gentiles when they really the descendants of the Jews of Christ. Right. But let me let me finish this one part in the scripture. Yeah. Chapter verse uh, eight or nine, where they are not They are not all Verse eight. Uh -huh. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. He said, 
you're not an Israelite, that means you're the children of the flesh. Right? Read up a little bit so we don't see these names in the Bible. Verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Not because they come from the seed of Abraham, because Abraham had many nations came out of his name. Right? Right? He had uh, Israel, uh, right? He had uh, Esau. A lot of people came out of the land that Abraham had been leading from the top. Right. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham uh, are they all children. Uh, but in Isaac. But in who? But in Isaac. But in Isaac. Go ahead. Shall thy seed be called. Thy seed be called. That's the promises that will be read up earlier. Go ahead. That is. They which are the children of the flesh. But if you don't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're the children of the flesh. Let's see what the Bible says. These are not the children of God. What the Lord says. These, These are, are not the, the children, children of God. God. You believe what the Bible says, right? He said, if you don't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or from the twelve sons of Israel, they what? These are not the children of God. You read it. Let's see what God's going to say. You're probably thinking what God about to answer your question. But the children of the promise. But the children of the promise we just read in verse four. They are the Israelites. Go ahead. Are counted for the seed. They counted by the flesh. Go ahead. For this is the word of promise. This is the word that God promised. Go ahead. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Sarah gonna have a baby. Go ahead. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one. By this, you gonna have Jacob. Go ahead. Even by our father Isaac, uh -huh. for the children being not yet born. Even people, the kids, they ain't even born. What? Go ahead. Neither having done any good or evil. They ain't did nothing. Kids are innocent. They ain't did nothing good or evil. Go ahead. That the purpose of God, according to election, might stand. God elected the Israelites in the beginning. Go ahead. Not of works. Not of works. Go ahead. But of him that call it. Uh -huh. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, uh -huh. as it is written. As it is written, go ahead. Jacob have I loved. When you talking about Jacob, he the father of the twelve child of Israel. Jacob, he loved the Israelites, go ahead. But Esau have I hated. You hear what the Lord said? It's a nation of people on the earth. Right, sir? Go ahead. That is our own love. What shall oh, yeah. we say then? What, this, what you going to say now, brother? What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is there unrighteousness with God? Is there unrighteousness with God because God hated the nation of people? Go ahead. God forbid. That means no. Go ahead. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Oh, this is the Lord talking to Moses. I can do what I want to do, Moses. I can have mercy on what people I want. So I can have mercy on them. Go ahead. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. God, I can choose who I want to. Go ahead. So then it is not of him that willeth, uh -huh. nor of him that runneth, uh -huh. but of God that showeth mercy. God is mercy. You agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I totally, and I know that because I just read, um, you know, that's coming up in Romans, right? Right. I just read a whole, uh, a whole book of Romans. Uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty familiar to me. Right. And, you know, I do agree with everything. I'm not going to so good. When you said that anybody can come up and be changed, they can get saved. So now you change, right? Because God said they don't come from the nation of Israel. They're not the church. They're not God's people. So I got a question for you. So Christ's death was just meant for Jewish, you know. Right. I'm going to read it for you, too. I'm going to read it for you. Go to Acts chapter 13, verse 26. Go to Psalms chapter 13. Yeah, go to Acts 13 and 26. You got Acts? Go to, uh... I'm going to read a couple scriptures that show Christ on the Bible. Go to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Let's start right there first. So we're going to build it up. I got Matthew. Read that. This is the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. So this is Mary. She's going to bring forth a son. Go ahead. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, uh -huh. for he shall save his people. Save who? His, his people, people. Everybody in the world. His, his people. people what? From their sins. So Christ came to save his people, the Jews, from their sins. Right? Because you got to remember, when Moses came down with the tablet, 
we get it, we get it, uh, the law too. So, if you gave it to the Jews, and if you break that law, it's a what? Well, it's sin. sin. Yeah. Right, so the only people who can sin is the what? It's the Jews. But they the only one got the law. They got the law. I agree with that, and you know, the reason why I agree with that was, if you know not the law, how can you break it? Right, it's kind of like, but we also have a conscience that relates to, you know, I know what's good and I know what's wrong. So it's like God has already embedded um, the truth in our hearts before we even know that. So we are not, you know, even for guilt, we are to be blamed for our sins because we know of what is wrong and what the truth is, even regardless of the Bible. Not even the Bible coming into the picture, but the Bible comes into the picture as to let us know of the entirety of the law which God has given to us. But like for a human being standpoint, you know what's good and you know what's wrong from the beginning to the end. So God is still going to judge you regardless on your, not your, but there is just one truth, right? Which is God's truth. But God's still going to judge you upon your conscience. So if you know, this is how I believe it as, if you know if you know the truth as far as the Ten Commandments, the God's going to judge you on top of the, uh, the Ten Commandments. Well, you made a lot of sense because we do know what's right or wrong. And we know, You know why we know that? Because we got a sense of our heritage, but we just don't know. Right. We got a sense of ability to know, like, deja vu. Like, we've been here before. So we got a sense of what God's law. Because before God even gave the laws out, we didn't know nothing about it. I should not kill, I should not kill. They were just doing whatever. You right. got something, give me that. Or they would just boom, give me to you. So God came out with the law and said, you can't do this, you can't do that. Right. Now we got a sense for what's right or wrong, even when the day we were born. Right, so Why? now God's going to judge us upon the Ten Commandments. Right. Watch this, I'm going to read it. Go ahead, watch this. Read that. Is it Romans? Yeah. This is the book of Romans, chapter 2, and verse 12. Uh -huh. For as many as have sinned without law. So a lot of people sin, like you said, because they don't know the law. So they haven't missed the sin. All right, go ahead. Shall also perish without law. Uh -huh. And as many as have lived in the law. Most people that keep God's law. Go ahead. Shall be judged by the law. What are we going to be judged by? Judged by, by the, the law. law. Where every man going to be what? Judged, judged by, by the, the law. law. So every man, when they stand in front of the judge of God, they're going to be judged by his law. Man. So we're going to be judged by God's law. We're going to judge every man. Even if people don't even know it, you know why they don't know it? They don't even know it. If you wanted to be a basketball player, you're going to learn all the knowledge. You're going to learn the crossover. You're going to learn the jump shot. You're going to learn the layup. You're going to learn the jump. You know, if you're a bodybuilder, you're going to say, I got to get my tricep, my bicep. I got to get my traps, my lat, my delta. You're going to learn it all. If you want to make it to the kingdom of heaven, you're going to learn how to get there, what it right. takes to get there. And you're going to be a study well man. Now, I'm going to show you that Christ, I'm going to get back to that, where Christ only died for the nation of Israel. Go to that in Acts chapter 13 and 26. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13 go and to, 26. Go to Isaiah chapter 15. Men and brethren, children say, of men the... And brother and children. Go ahead. Of the stock of Abraham. Of the, of of the, the stock, stock of, of Abraham. Abraham. According to the flesh. The stock of Abraham. Go ahead. And whosoever among you feareth God, uh -huh. to you is the word of this salvation sent. Salvation is sent. Go ahead. For they that dwell at Jerusalem mm -hmm. and their rulers, because they knew him not, mm -hmm. nor yet the voices of the prophets, Go ahead. which are read every Sabbath day. And they have fulfilled them in condemning him. Mm -hmm. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate, Pilate. Oh, yeah, 28. Yeah, 28. That's 13, right? Yeah, that's 13. Acts 13, you want Acts 5? No, no, no. Keep reading that. It might be 28. And. 28. And and though they Hold on, no, we read it. We just went over it too fast. Read 26. That's why, yeah, sometimes y'all be going too fast. Read it again. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feareth God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. So to you is 
is the word of the children of the flock to you that this salvation is sent to you. Right? That's Christ is sent to you. That he's salvation. Right? So read that real quick. This is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, and verse 5. But he was wounded. We'll go to Exodus 5. But he was wounded. So this is Christ. He was wounded. He was killed on the cross. Go ahead. For our transgression. For who? For our transgression. He's going to tell you the context who is our transgression. Go ahead. He was bruised for our iniquity. He was bruised for our iniquity. Go ahead. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Uh -huh. And with his stripes, we are healed. And with his stripes, with Christ's stripes, we are healed. All these are singular words. They're not plural. It's only singling out people. Like, go ahead. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. Uh -huh. Now, we the sheep that's gone astray. Go ahead. We have turned every one to his own way. Uh -huh. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He laid the iniquity of us all. He died for us all because we went off at a time, right? Go ahead. Uh -huh. He was oppressed uh -huh. and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Uh -huh. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. Christ was brought like a lamb to the slaughter. Go ahead. And as a sheep before his shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. Uh -huh. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? Uh -huh. For he was cut off out of the land of the living. So Christ died out of the land of the living after they seen his portion for him. For the transgression of my people. For the sin of who? For the transgression of, of my, my people. people. Who is it talking about when you say Christ died for the transgression of my people? What's that concept? Go ahead, read that. I'm going to show you who is my people that he's talking about. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 5, from the top. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Go to John 11. Thus saith the Lord of God of Israel. The Lord God of who? Lord God of, of Israel. Israel. Uh -huh. Let my people go. What? Let, Let my, my people, people go. go. Let what? Let, Let my people go. go. So his people is the children of Israel. That's the context of that. So Christ died for the sin of God. Children of Israel. That's who Christ died for. We can read it in the New Testament. But a lot of people say, I don't really believe in the Old Testament. I'm just saying that. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe it's old. It's pretty right. uh, good. Tim, I'm going to be more scriptures. Right in. spectacle on is when John, uh, was it John 16, where it says God, well, God sold off the world? Lord, yeah. Hold on, I'm going to do you real quick. Hey, somebody look up that definition world in the, in the regular game. Right. right. Where the dictionary or the keyboard? Okay. You can't look up that, look up the, uh, you're going to break it down. So God so love. Yeah, I gotta go too, we just read one scripture to break it down. Isaiah 45. Because it's a whole breakdown. Because a lot of people take that scripture, they read it wrong. But when you read John 3.16, what do it say in John 3.14? You go up a couple of verses. Everybody knows 16, but they skip uh, it. Let's, let's do 16 and go into 14. Okay, okay, so. okay. Yeah, go on to Isaiah 45, 17. Go to number, go to John 3, 16, then go to number 21. I have the uh, definition. Okay, hold that. What's the definition of world? World. Because world is, 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 is in different categories. Sea world, basketball world. Right. It's different categories with people that got different common goals. Watch it. World is used to indicate a place or area within the planet Earth. Right. A place or the the world. Earth. Not the whole world. Not the whole planet That's Earth. That's planet Earth. There's areas or people that got the same agreement or common goal. Right? Watch this. Read that. Right. This is the book of Isaiah 45 and 17. Read. But Israel uh -huh. shall but Israel shall be saved. So you say Israel shall be saved. Go ahead. In the Lord uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. Uh -huh. Yea, shall not be ashamed uh -huh. nor confounded world. What? 
world, world without end. So that Israel is the world in the context of John 3, 16. Israel is the world. Well, I'm going to show you. Read John 3, 14, and we're going to break it down. This is in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses... So this is Moses speaking to Nicodemus, right? Nicodemus came to him and asked him a question. Christ speaking to Nicodemus. Christ speaking to Nicodemus. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So he's telling Nicodemus. He said the same way when Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. You familiar with that? Yeah. And they was getting bit by snakes, right? Put them on those. And they put it, yeah, they put that, that's like you see on the Amalam, right. right? Okay, go ahead. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So the way Moses lifted up that serpent, the same way Christ going to be lifted up, right? So when the snakes was biting, who they were they biting? I mean, they were biting the um, Right? So when they looked at the staff, they what? The pole with the snake, they got what? They got healed. They got saved. They got saved. Right. So he just said, right. the same way <laughs> they got saved, right. same way I'm going to do the same thing for them. Same way. Read it again. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, okay. the Moses did it. Go ahead. even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up? So that even so means the same. The same that Moses did, the same way I'm going to be lifted up. Say the same. Say the same. Say the same. Go ahead. So that was the context of John 3.16. Go ahead. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Stop right there. Because I know he's going to say, see it says whosoever. Go to Acts chapter 2, verse 21. Yeah, I was going to say something about it. But. <laughs> Everybody going to say, this everybody is the, say who or whosoever. Because you got to remember the context. If I'm in the house and I'm about to order some people, and I'm going to say, whosoever wants some people. If I'm talking to the people in that door, or I'm just talking to the people in my house. Well, I mean, if they can hear you. <laughs> well, <laughs> <just> talking, <laughs> right, if they can hear me. So let's read. This is the book of Acts 2 and 21. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that, whosoever so that, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The same thing in that context. Go ahead. Ye men of Israel. Be saved. Ye, Ye men of Israel. Israel uh -huh. Hear these words. So that's the whosoever. This is the book of John, chapter 3, you gotta remember. verse 16. You got to remember, the whole Bible was only written to a certain it wasn't written to everybody in the world. This Bible is not a religious book. It's a history book. It tells you the history and, and about a certain people. It ain't and talking about everybody. It's talking about the forefathers of a certain people. Right? Go ahead. Hey, give me a uh, Roman. For God so verse. loved the world. God so loved the world. But we read that world was Israel. Go ahead. That he gave his only begotten son, uh -huh. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Right, so that whosoever in the world is talking about the Israel. That's the context. When you read the whole thing in context, that's who it's talking about. But what people do is take the Bible out of context. Right, they give me that word, where I'm got the scripture. I think it's in John where it says Jesus taught openly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this, because Jesus even used that terminology. Right? Let me show it to you. You're going to read it. But well, read that real quick. Romans 15 and verse 4. Before you get that. So I know you want to sound, brother. You sound like you might be from the tribe of Benjamin or Levi. You're from one of those two tribes. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually from the tribe of My family. You own that. You're from Donda, right? From Donna. Ethiopians, what else? Because that's like the West Coast of Africa, right? <laughs> yeah, so you, yeah, you want that. We got from Ghana. Right? We got it. Read Romans 15 and 4. You said Romans? Yeah, read Romans 15 and 4. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. I said the Bible is a history book. Watch it. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Everything that was written in, 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 the, in the beginning, the aforetime in the Old Testament. Were written for our learning. Was written for what? 
for our learning. For our learning about our forefathers, who they are, what mistakes they made, what they did, so we don't make those mistakes. Because it's a history book, not a religious book. It's only talking about the Israel life from the beginning of the book all the way to the end. When you close it up, we're going to say Israel, the end. That's what it's going to say. Right, so go to that scripture. This is the book of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Let's see what Christ says. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. Jesus, I speak openly to the world. He's talking to the whole world. He on the big medical phone and said, Hey, everybody in the world, listen up. Go ahead. I ever taught in the synagogue. Uh -huh. you the world, you know? And in the temple. Uh -huh. Whether the Jews always resort. Uh -huh. Whether the Jews always resort. So the world is the Jews. Right? So this is scripture in there saying that uh, 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 the Romans taxed the whole world. Did they tax the whole world? No. Back in that time, they can't tax everybody in the world. They can't tax. So when Jesus died, spoke openly to the world, well, where is he speaking at? In the temple. Where the what? Jews were. So because that's the world. And you look up the word world, the world, basketball world, the world of fish, the world of Music world, music world, it's all different world. Yeah, different world. The whole wide world. Right, go ahead and read that. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and 29. No, not that one. Okay, don't read that one. Okay. Oh, you get it, brother. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I, I get what you're you know, coming from. But, um, who, is it, who is it that you want to say? Besides who the Bible says. I want to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want every, everything to say. Ask, you know, God. Hey, give me Jeff. Give me Jeff. Ask my God, name. you know, attendance, you know, we can all be saved. And it's according to the Father's will, it all be saved. Right? As the scripture said. Right. But who, who is the context? Everything got a context in so, the book. When they're writing to the people, like, let's say, when Paul was writing his epistles, his right. letters. Who he was writing to? What he writing to? Everybody in the world. He was writing to well, those seven was, churches. Right? right. Some in Romans, right. some in uh, uh, Corinth. And, and you know, so. But who were those people but that were Christian, in Rome? Uh, I mean, that he was writing to. Those were the churches. Right? But who were the people that was in those churches? And he was writing the letters. So I'm going to say, go to Romans chapter 1. Then go to 1 Corinthians chapter. Are you trying to say that? You know, they were, they were all Jewish. They were all Jewish. You know, probably. You know, and there were none. none you know, Gentiles, no all so the Gentiles, right, right. but ten and are one. the Jews, you also got to like know the history, because during right. the time of, uh, after Solomon, the right. kingdom split, and right. there was this group of uh, Israelites that was cast off, right, like the, they were in the same yeah, they went into exile, right, they were the Gentiles, so right. that's, the letters. Right. Oh, he's writing. So, I'm going to show it to him. So Gentiles, uh, I'm trying to understand. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you who the Gentiles are. Let's, let's get to this. Yeah, let's get to this. Read these two scriptures, then I get to that. Read that. This is in the book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 7. Uh, give me Psalm to all that be in Rome, beloved of God. Uh, all that those be in Rome, in verse 7. Yes. Go ahead. Beloved of God, yeah. called to be saints. Called to be who? Called to be saints. So he write in this letter to all the saints in Rome. Right? Is that what that said? Right? So let's see who are the saints. Psalms 144 and what? Verse 14. 148. 148. Yeah, verse 14. No church is This is the book of Psalms. 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, uh -huh. the praise of all his saints. So let's see who is all God's saints. Go Even of the children of Israel. The, the children of Israel. So the saints read it again. Are the children of Israel. So read, read this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Gather my saints together. So the Lord said, gather my saints together. Go ahead. Unto me. Unto him. Go ahead. Those that have made a covenant with me. Who made a covenant with God? By sacrifice. Who made a covenant with God by animal sacrifice? Those Jews. All right. So those are the saints in Rome. When he's 
him write his letter to the saints. Now we're gonna see the Corinthians. Read that. Right, let me, let me I'm going to show you who the Gentiles are. We're going to get to that. Go this ahead. is the book of 1 Corinthians 10 from the chop. Moreover, brethren, uh -huh. I would not that ye should be ignorant. Now, I would not have to ignorant. Go ahead. How that all of our fathers. That all of our fathers. Our fathers. Right, go ahead. Were under the cloud. Were under the cloud. And, and all passed through the sea. Uh -huh. And were all baptized unto Moses. Uh -huh. In the cloud and in the sea. So that's who we that's who we write that letter to. So now let's go over two more chapters, verse twelve. Right. So the Corinthians are Jews, the Romans are Jews. Now let's read over two old chapters. So chapter twelve and what? Start at verse. 12. This is the book of First Corinthians, twelve from the top. Now concerning spiritual gifts, uh -huh. brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Mm -hmm. Yea, know that ye were Gentiles. You what? Yea, were Gentiles. You were. When you were Gentile, you were Gentile. He said, you Corinthians were Gentiles. Go ahead. Carried away unto these dumb idols. He said, y'all were dumb, carried away to dumb idols. You were of the religion, of the practice, of the custom. If you were Gentile, you were Gentile. You're a black man, you're black that man. Will pull today, yeah, you black man. You, you used wrong. to be a Chinese man. No, you can't do that. He said, all you Corinthians work. Read it again. So I don't want to be making up. Now concerning words. spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not you have you ignorant. Did. Brethren. Go ahead. I would not have you ignorant. Go ahead. Yea, know that yea were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, right. even as yea were led. Right. Jews break God's laws and start sinning. Now look at the Jews. Because a lot of Israelites, a lot of Jews, they start to Yeah, the thing is, you know, I mean, it's still, it's still going on now. Yeah, like, yeah. Where it bleeds into like churches right. and stuff like that. Right. So, um, I, I, I'm familiar with Do you celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween? Um, birthday. I do celebrate. That's what that is. I know it's uh yeah. Those are white man's custom. I know I know that. So that's the same principle. So when you do that, you you, you, you can look at it upon as a Gentile. Right? I'm gonna show you how they became Gentile. This is in the book of Second Maccabees. Chapter. You ever heard of the book of Maccabees? It's in the Bible. The book of Maccabees. The book of Maccabees. Oh, it's yeah. in the Bible. There's a book Bible. Hold it up. 1611. Yeah, during I think like the 1800s, the Protestant Church took out 14 books from the original King James Bible, right. which is in the middle. Right. So you know, right. Let me show you something. You ever heard the book of Daniel, right? Yeah. And he break down his statue, right? Right. These are all the yeah. right. So when you get right here, you got the um, Babylonian, Persian, B, what that mean? Greek. Why the Greek captivity is not in the Bible? You got the Roman captivity in there. You got all the other captivity. Why is this part missing and Daniel broken down? Because what version are you? 1611. This is all kind of Bible. Yeah, I got the Holy Bible. Yeah, I got the Holy Bible. You see the good news Bible? They call it the Apocrypha. Right, this is the same word. Right. It's the word Apocrypha. Right. They did it from. This is what they did. Now I'm going to show you how the Jews became Gentiles. This is in the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. No one lawful the in the in Greek, or Greek for the man to keep Sabbath days. Go ahead. Or ancient feasts. Uh -huh. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So if you lived in that, you couldn't even say you were a Jew. Right, go ahead. And in the day of the king's birth, every month, they were brought by bitter constraint. Right, because every month he would celebrate his birthday. You have a birthday every month. He made the Jews keep it over. By bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. Uh -huh. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, uh -huh. the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus, uh -huh. carrying ivy. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor city. So it came out a decree because back then what they used to do, they used to have them, uh, what they call them, 
and rolling up in the road. So then the man on the horse put out the decree. So they were putting out decrees in the neighbor cities of the To the neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews. Against the Jews. So they were bringing out things that the Jews could do. That they should observe the, observe the same fashions. And they should observe the same customs that the so-called Jews are. And be partakers of their sacrifices. And be partakers in what? Of their, their sacrifices. sacrifices. Don't do your Eastern day, your sacrifices. Do the Greek sacrifices. What they do today. Go ahead. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manner of the Gentiles. Well, it didn't want to conform themselves to the manner of the Gentiles. Or do the customs of the Gentiles. Go ahead. Should be put to death. Should be what? Should, should be, be put, put to death. death. So that's how the Jews became Gentiles, because they started following the customs and, and the ways of the Gentiles. And if they didn't, they would be put to death. They would die. So that's how we put it up to the day and time. Our people still keep the customs of the so-called Greeks, Romans. They still keep all of those customs today. They don't even know they're Jews or everybody. They call themselves American, Asian, Puerto Rican, Dominican. They don't even know they're the real Jews. Because they learned that stuff from the Greeks. That's why they had to take it out of the Bible. So what's, what's that read? book right there? Maccabees. Maccabees. You can read it, bro. Alright, so, so that's, that's on which set? Hey, let me see the 1611. It might be a little bit hard because some of it's like old English. I'll just take a picture of it. This one right here has got the new English. Right. This is the Cambridge part. I'm going to show you. Buy that book. You can buy it separately on Barnes & Noble for like 15 bucks. Yeah. If you go on like group, you can go on like Amazon and just look up a pop, or you can just buy that part of the Bible. You don't have to get a whole Bible. But these sometimes these Bibles can cost they can cost up. Some of them even cost, I think I got one cost like a hundred and thirty bucks. But you can buy just the apocrypha itself and it might only cost about seven bucks. Fourteen books This is the book of John 4 and 22. Uh -huh. Yea, worship, yea, know not what. Uh -huh. We know what we worship, uh -huh. for salvation is of, of the, the Jews. Jews. Salvation is of the Jews. That's, what Christ, that's Christ speaking right there. 816. Why read that real quick? This is the book of John, chapter Roman. 8. Oh, Romans. Yeah. This is the book of Romans, chapter chapter 8 and verse 16. Uh -huh. The spirit itself. So the Bible says, spirit itself, right? Beareth witness with our spirit. Because it seems like your spirit is agreeing to what we say. You ain't fighting for most people to come up here and fight. Yeah. Nah, it's for everybody. I don't care what that Bible says. That's a wrong Bible. Your spirit is very So that, that's how we feel like that most likely you do get in. Even though you come from Ghana, because our people came from Ghana. We came from the West Shores of Africa. Some people stayed. Give me Isaiah 11, 11. Some people stayed. Some people went into slavery on the side. But we all were slaves, no matter where we at. Because God said that Israelites would be slaves in all of them, even in Ghana. Right? So read that part again. 
the spirit itself your spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit your spirit is connecting with our spirit you ain't fighting for you that we are the children of God. That what? That we, we are, are the, the children, children of God. God. Like that we are the children of God. So if your spirit bear witness, you will be able like that. You know? God don't make you say you wake good people up no matter where they come. You can be in China. And you can look like a Chinese man. But if you are Israelite, because we don't go by color. We don't go by color. We go by natural. The Israelites is like a, a sample bird. They come in all colors. And they would, the Bible said that the Israelites would look like other nations. So you would have Israelites that would look like white men. You have Israelites that would look like Chinese men. You would look like all because you can all the scattered the cross. So watch this video. This is the book of Isaiah 11 and 11. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time. To recover the remnant of his people. So this is to recover the a remnant. The yeah. bulk of his people. But a remnant will still be in Africa. Go ahead. Which, which shall be left from Assyria uh -huh. and from Egypt uh -huh. and from Paphros uh -huh. and from Cush uh -huh. and from Elon uh -huh. and from Shinar uh -huh. and from Hamath uh -huh. and from the islands of the sea. Right. And even in all of those African provinces. Our people over there. Our people in Madagascar. We all over the world. All over the world. Israelites. Because what the whole man is not the one verse Watch this. Israelites is all over the world. We see that. This is in the book of Hosea, chapter 1 and verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. What are we? As the sand of the sea. You ever picked up a sand? We like to stand at the no end. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. So many of us outnumber everybody. God said, y'all, it's so many of y'all. Y'all can't be measured nor numbered. They can't take a sense of sense on that. No end. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Right. In America where people say, we not, y'all not the Jews. Go ahead. What God said. There it shall be said unto them. Ye are the sons of the living God. We are the Israelites. Go ahead. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel uh -huh. be gathered together uh -huh. and appoint themselves one head. Uh -huh. And they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Right, that's going to be a great day when the Lord comes and return. He didn't say he's coming to get everybody. No. The Lord said, I'm coming to get the Israelites from the four corners of the earth. He didn't say, I'm coming to get the Chinese man, the Arab man, the Russian, the white man. He said, I'm coming to get the children of Israel because they like the sand of the sea. They can't be negative at all. Right? You do your research, brother. Yep. So if you got any other questions, right. call that number okay. or scan that barcode. Let it go straight to our YouTube channel. But we out here. Go home and gather all your thoughts together. Write down all the questions you want to ask. You know, you can say, well, this person say this. This person say that. This person say this. Person say this. Say, write them all down. Bring them back up and we're going to answer with the Bible. We're going to need a proper breakdown of the proper understanding of what it's saying. I hear you. All right. Okay. All right. I appreciate your time. Man. All right, brother. All right, man. All right. Yep. Take care. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.